Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and now we are going to talk about blank verse in this video. As you requested me to talk about blank verse. So the first thing is about basic five words you should know about blank verse. First thing is unrhymed as you can see I have uh, highlighted for you. First is unrhymed. Third, uh, second is five metrical feet. Now here I am and penta and then we have meters unstressed syllable and long and stressed syllable and I am these are the key words we should know about blank words next word is casura it is also called pause so we will be talking about these basic words so if you want to know about blank words keep these things in mind so basically it is an unrhymed I am big pentameter when we say this the preeminent dramatic and narrative words form in England it was and uh, it consists five metrical feet that's why it is called pentameter so if you don't know penta means five so because it has five metrical feet that's why it is called pentameter now next thing is these feet now let's talk about this one unstressed syllable and then later we will have one stressed syllable okay so five feet so five feet and uh, we will make them a group like one is unstressed and then stressed feet so combinedly this is one all right one feet so in this way we will have five so that's why five five feet so these two syllables together forming metrical foot is known as an I am and this is also called an I am that's why it is called I am I am big pentameter so hopefully you got it and uh, this is a rich and versatile verse and depends on the skill of the poet in varying the stresses and uh, the position of the pauses so अगर हम कहें कि इसका जो usage है poet अगर कोई poet है उसकी skill पे depend करता है कि वो किस तरह से stress को और pause को between lines किस तरह से use करता है उससे ये काफी versatile बन जाता है और इससे richness आती है जो भी उसकी writing होगी सबसे पहले इसे introduce किया गया था 16th century Italy में you can see here okay and later in 15 14 it was used for translation of Virgil's Aeneid and later Sophonisba and this was a tragedy written in 1514 uh, and 15 by Gian Giorgio Trasino Sari ke sari italic hai or didactic poem La Api 1539 mein Giovanni Rusella isne isse use kiya tha it can be asked कि इसका क्या मतलब होता है worthy society so you can you can pronounce this word according to you okay because this is Italian again so v e r s i s c i o l t i so it's it was translated later as blank words okay so remember this thing this can be asked in your exam now as you know कि कहीं से भी कुछ भी पूछ लेते हैं so we need to know about these things and in depth so later if we come to English so Henry Howard and Earl of Surrey used this in his sonnets and later Thomas Sackville and Thomas Norton used blank verse for the first English tragic drama Gobbledick first performed in 1561 later Christopher Marlowe developed its musical qualities and emotional power in Tamerlane Dr. Faustus and Edward II. So, if it is asked that uh, who used this, uh, used it, it uh, with musical qualities, so you can uh, choose Marlowe. So, these are the questions which can be formed in exam. Later, Shakespeare, we know he he uh, he was a great artist. He was a good, great dramatist. So, he used that in his uh, you know in his works, different works. So finally we came to the end of this video and uh, with Shakespeare, Shakespeare's poetic expressions in his later plays like Hamlet, 
King Lear, Othello, Macbeth, and The Winter's Tale, uh, we found the uses of blank words there. So hopefully you understood and uh, got some questions related to blank words. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care in next video.